Hey everybody, it's uh, Bumps in the Night. I'm back again with another show and tell style video. You guys seem to like when I do these, so let me show you what I got and I'll tell you how I got it. For starters, this was an impulse buy. I bought this at 3 in the morning. I was laying in bed, I saw it pop up. You know me, I like the wheel and deal. I offered them a rather modest price and they accepted. And it's way bigger than I expected. But this is the Shivers Puzzle and Activity book and like I said, I was not expecting it to be this big, but wow, and it's it's pretty clean, like there's not a lot of stuff that's been done in it. So, pretty wild, only real damage on it here is this little spine nick, but again, I didn't even know like they came this big, so I thought that was really awesome, I was like, damn, okay. A copy of It, I picked it up for two bucks on eBay, a copy of It, I've got part two, I figured I might as well get part one. Got a couple of hardbacks. Everyone likes the turtleback editions of Goosebumps I got from libraries. So, this is number 27, A Night in Care Tower. It is. You know, definitely got that library vibe. It is a 13th printing. So, it's pretty cool. It's definitely going on the shelf since I'm trying to collect the entire series again in hardback. The hardest books to find, I guarantee, are going to be. Werewolf skin, and I live in your basement. I already have 62. I don't know if you can... Right there. So I bought this one about a month ago. Dude sent me the wrong book. So, I had to mail it back, then he finally got this to me, so I gotta give him a 5 star rating on eBay, because he went on his way to return the book I had already bought once. The book I already bought once, Return of the Mummy. Yeah, I know, I have a shitty pun, I'm sorry. Return of the Mummy, you can tell it's definitely been through the mill. Got that 90s feel, definitely used, crunchy, crispy. It's an 11th printing. So. Return of the Money. So, two more for the collection. And he also sent me this, like, just to make up for having to do my book. So, thank you very much, sir. Next, I got a package. That's probably why you clicked on this, is to see a package from one of the best YouTubers in the Goosebumps community. He definitely hooked me up. So, now I owe him one. So, this package is from Goosebumps Completions. Then we traded some books, and I only asked for like two books, because again, what I traded him wasn't very rare. Oh, look at all that bubble wrap. So, like I said, I owe him one, but he sent me, this is what I was after. This is Goosebumps, uh, Tales number six, the Christmas one. Now, this was his beater copy, he's got a better copy, but I, this is what I needed because my copy's beat to hell. So, I'll be replacing that in my collection. For I also only had a UK version of I Am Your Evil Twin, so I picked up this off of him to go on the shelf. Now it is a bit beat up, but that's okay. It's an English version. I like my Goosebumps to be consistent, I don't believe like that. Oh wow, he also sent me a copy of Monster Blood, the TV book. You know, I have not collected TV books in a hot minute. You know, actually he just told me one of the books is really, really, really expensive now that I sold. Uh, I think it was number 18. I sold mine for 80. It's worth like 300 now, so... But thank you again, Goosebumps Completions. I really appreciate that. He also sent me another 2000s book. Uh, the Werewolf in the Living Room. Look at that art. Damn, and he sent me another 2000 series book. Invasion of the Body Squeezers Part 2. Thank you so much. And then a library copy of Austin Stink Eye Swamp. So, oh man. You know, I actually haven't read this one, so I'm looking forward to it. And I think, ironically, Spine and All, this is in better condition than the one in my collection. Mine's also a library copy. So... Next, I got some packages from Thrift Books. Now, I opened them already because I was at my grandparents. I just want to see the conditions, so they're not going to be in the packaging. But I'm just going to run through them real quick. I'm reading manga a lot lately. I picked up, this is number 8, uh, the Pokemon Diamond and Pearl adventure manga. So it's weird. I'm following the manga, after Hoenn comes Sinnoh. And this is like, they branched off. One adventure essentially is Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, and this one's Diamond and Pearl. So this one only had 8 books in the run, so I picked up all 8 of them. And you know, you take a gamble with thrift books, and considering only one of them is really in beat condition, I'm not mad about that. So, yeah, I got the entire run of the Diamond and Pearl manga set for the Pokemon Adventure manga. Last but not least, we have this. I made a deal with somebody on Facebook, and I sent them a few books, and they sent me quite a few books. So let's see what we got. Off the bat, we got it! This is the last one. The last one to complete the secondary set. It was 51. I've got it. 
and as of now, it is going on eBay. So if you want to buy a full set of Goosebumps, check out the link in my description. I also got a copy of The Haunted Mask, How to Kill a Monster, Attack of the Jack, The Haunted School, Shocker on Shock Street, A Night in Terror Tower. Ha! Two copies of Night in Terror Tower, one video. Oh my gosh! Stay in the basement. The Beast from the East. All right, so my phone died. So here's me trying to finish when I started. In case the camera angles off, that's why. I'm professional, I promise. So the last book in that batch I had gotten was a copy of Egg Monsters from Mars. And it sucks because you see it's really beat to hell. But take a look. It's got all the stuff. It's like, why, damn it, why? The last book I got in that lot was Arl Stein's Haunting Hour. And it's got like a picture of a window and it's... I don't know, I've never seen it. I just figured Arl Stein, Haunting Hour. I like Haunting Hour. I picked it up. So yeah, lots of shit, guys. Lots of shit. So, hope you enjoyed this massive unload of information. And uh, if you haven't already clicked that button, make sure you subscribe. If you haven't already done it, I suggest maybe you click that subscribe button because you never know what's coming out of my channel. I'm doing a lot of different stuff. I still have my scary stories I'm working on, but you guys gotta understand, man. Between everything going on in the world and work just kicking my ass, I'm depressed. Florida has become so overpopulated that what I would do in healthcare essentially means I go in every day and get my ass kicked. And now, this is seasoned in Florida, so yeah, that happens, but it is so much fucking worse, and no one's talking about it. <laughs> here, I'm gonna use the meme right here. I am fighting for my life out there every goddamn day. So, be easy on me. I, I promise you there's more coming. With that being said, gotta do some of my quick shout-outs here. Gotta shout out Goosebumps Completionist, the man, the goat. This dude, I, I'm telling you guys, it's my prediction, by 2023, he's gonna have more subs than me. You know why? Because he's dedicated, and he busts his ass for you. He reviews these Goosebumps for you. And someday, I think very soon, if not maybe in the distant future, he's gonna be dropping books similar to these. I definitely foresee his writing career taking off, and I am looking forward to being his friend and following his career every step of the way with that. So. Do yourself a favor, if you're here for the bumps, go check out Goosebump Completionist. He is the GOAT. And I know he isn't as big as, like, Aussie fan, or even uh, my friend uh, Matt Vickers Copley, the king of Goosebumps, but give this man some love. Alright, uh, if you want to be really cool, you can check out these channels. Do the clicky thing. Remember, something, 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 you never know what goes bump in the night.